Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Unless it's your first time, then welcome. Please consider subscribing. If you do, hit the notification bell. You got all the updates. Uh, really excited for today's beer. Continuing my theme week of these really cool, fun beers. Um, it is Artisanal Brewing Company. I'm sorry, Brew Works. Sorry. And uh, Warheads, the candy. And it's legit. And if you want to know more about it, watch the first video I posted where I talked about how it came to be, blah, 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 blah. <sighs> Maybe I shouldn't say I'm really excited for today's beer. I... I was never a big green apple guy. Um, I love apples. Um, but yeah, the green apple candies was not a flavor I got jazzed about. So this is actually the one I'm the least excited to try. So I'm putting it second to last. Because I, I, I'm going to do watermelon last. And I think, I think I'll really like that one uh, based on the other ones I've had so far. And I, I'll probably like this one. But um, yeah, green apple is a flavor I was the least excited about. Um, just because yeah, I never was too big of a fan of it. Looks apart, <laughs> as these have, for sure. <clears throat> it's like ecto-cooler or whatever. Yeah, I mean, that looks like a... <laughs> if you took green apple candy made it a liquid, that's what it looks like, for sure. Um, <clears throat> the head does have a little bit of a green tinge to it. I'm sure it's coming up on the camera as well. But, um, yeah. It's going to the aroma. Hmm. <laughs> wow. So, it is incredible how that, um, these aromas and these tastes of, of things I haven't tasted in years. I mean, I don't, I literally don't know the last time I had something green apple flavored, um, I moved about a year and a half ago. I definitely haven't had anything green apple flavored since I moved. And like I'm trying to think of like moments in my life and like, you know, what I've had it in this time frame. Like, I don't know if I would have had it since I've had a full time job for the last, what, 12 years? I, I just, I don't <laughs> remember the last time I had it. Short version? That is green apple. Like, again, they have the flavoring, so I'm not surprised, but like, that smells exactly how green apple candy smells it is just between the look and the the smell it's like yeah it's this is green apple candy beer it's that's so freaking wild the same thing's happening though where that flavoring for me is really hiding any of the sour beer quality i mean it really smells like liquid candy um and just for time's sake, I had gotten this out of the refrigerator not too long ago. So it is pretty cold. Maybe that's part of it. But, I mean, it really, it's, it's hard to get any sort of beer quality. Uh, I'm sure the taste I will, which I have with the other ones. But in terms of the aroma, <clears throat> no. Uh, but, yeah, it smells good. I mean, it smells exactly how it's supposed to smell. I think I waste enough time. Cheers. Mmm. Every time that first sip catches me off guard. Yeah, that's a sour beer. Man. And it's cool too, because people have been like, yeah, it's cool to have fun beer. Like it's it beer is supposed to be supposed to be fun. And this this theme week, if nothing else, is just like a great refresher, restart, whatever, of like, yeah, this should always be fun, you know? And um and it's cool to dissect beers and I love doing that. Obviously, that's why I started this channel. But um it is cool just to like have a fun beer to drink. And this hits that for sure. Uh, the green apple uh, definitely comes from the taste. We do get that sweetness, or I'm sorry, that sourness, like that I you know I want and, and it should be in this beer. So it is very much uh, true to that. Then an interesting thing is happening, and I not that I think a lot of these flavorings taste a lot like the fruit. Like, if you eat a banana and then you eat, like, the banana runs, that's not what a banana tastes like, you know? Interesting, interesting thing is happening here. I don't know how much of it is actually on my palate versus just in my mind, combination of the two, but as some of that green apple taste subsides and you're just getting more of the sourness of the beer it, it is so close to if you bite into like a grainy smith so a green apple and it has that tartness it, it really 
and, and again, maybe it's just tricking my mind into being like, yeah, it tastes like a Granny Smith apple. But there, there is definitely in that experience a, a relatively long moment where it's very much Granny Smith apple, which no matter what's causing that, is pretty cool in a beer like this, you know? Yeah, it's wild. You know what? It, th that thing I'm describing is a little bit more in the aftertaste. or, or not, uh, Yeah, like very end of when there's still liquid in your mouth and really, yeah, more like the aftertaste, yeah. But cool. It, and that was, I didn't, I mean, other than the, maybe the lemon one where you could almost kind of believe if it didn't have any lemon flavoring in it. The other two was a black cherry and the blue raspberry. It, it wasn't too much like, Tastes like the fruit, you know, at any point. But like this one, there is that, which is super interesting. So that's something different. Because again, like one of my fears of doing these, not fears, that's not the right word. It's just like, I take a sip. Whoa, it's sour. It has a warhead flavor. Thanks for watching. And I stretch it out for six minutes. You know, like I don't want that. So I'm glad there is something different to add here. Um, <clears throat> very cool. Very unique. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be cool. I, I haven't talked to anyone else who's had these beers. I, I would love to kind of... Well, I shouldn't say that, but like in sort of in any depth where someone's like, oh, I like this one more than that one or whatever. Um, I, I'm going to say this still is my least favorite one of the four I've had so far. But again, no surprise, Green Apple's always been a one I was not a huge fan of. But um, it's still good. I, I'll i put it this way, and I was thinking about it before I turned the camera on and kind of maybe describing this way, depending on what I thought of the taste. If they release these five again, would I buy them all again? You know what I'm saying? And so far, I without a doubt would buy them all again. Um, I think this one I still would buy. I, it was five bucks a can. I think I still, I, I think I still would. I, I do like it. I, I like it more than I thought I would, but it's still going to be the least of, of the four I've had. Excuse me. If you've had these specifically, like, let me know what, what you think of them, um, for sure. And just, yeah, maybe just a conversation in the comments about like, yeah, beer drinking is, you know, should be fun. You know, it, it can be analytical. It can be, you know, you can compare it to other things or whatever, but like, yeah, every once in a while, I got to kind of remind ourselves, drinking beer is supposed to be fun. Um, well, you guys for watching, I really appreciate that. Check me out on Instagram and Untapped. It's no hype beer boost at both those places. So please, please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, imbibe. Cheers, everyone.